we get a new look at Harrison Ford as Red Hulk as well as some unfortunate news. All right. I don't even think anybody talking about it, but your boy, like and subscribe. I do the work. All right. Let me play a little bit of sad music because it's about to get sad for y'all. All right. So apparently this is coming from the New York City Comic Con. He is shown in the words of Marvel, but they just zoomed in just to show that Red Hulk and boy, he look angry as heck. I'm gonna love this movie strictly because of the red hulk because sam wilson captain america does nothing for me his eyes glowing red you can still tell that it's harrison ford which is, is great work like cgi has come a long way my whole concern is like how you get the red hulk without the green you know what i'm saying bruce banner will be showing up I, we don't i don't have no evidence of that but it literally does not make sense for him not to be there and if he's not there we could possibly get a future Hulk movie, but that's the unfortunate news. Apparently, Harrison had enough of the MCU already. He didn't even had the movie out. So this is coming some days ago. Um, they had a Harrison Ford excerpt in the GQ magazine. He's quoted as saying, I'm just there on a weekend pass. I I'm a sailor new to this town. Show me the way to go home. Now that sounds quite odd, not a lot of people are even picking up that concept, but when I do my investigative journalism, because I'm a great guy, and this is what I do, like and subscribe, you kind of get the sense of he's kind of over the concept of the superhero world of celebrityism, being asked deep, knowledgeable questions about like these comic book artists, I mean, comic book heroes and villains, and will you be showing up in this movie and that movie? This uh, this man is 80 plus. He kind of over that whole concept. Now, the crazy thing is you kind of already know who Harrison Ford is. If you've been like into the world of Star Wars and how he treat uh, Han Solo, like <laughs> he low key hate Han Solo. But at the same time, he respect the character. He just don't like all that fluff around it, which is weird on why would you sign up for the MCU? But to each his own. Now, the silver lining in all of this. There's a high chance that due to CGI capabilities and him just having to voice certain things, we might just get the Red Hulk in the future movies and not necessarily Harrison Ford. Because, you know, it is CGI at the end of the day. It ain't like they got Harrison Ford looking in the camera like that, doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just him saying some words in some AI computer cooking up the heat. The only question is, Will he sign off with his likeness to do that? And if he's gonna sign off with his likeness, he probably gonna get a bag off the couch for a while because you know, Red Hulk on infinite mode, shelf kisses. But comment down below, are you excited about this one and done possibility of Red Hulk or do you need a movie strictly for the face off of the green versus Red Hulk showdown? Comment down below. This is Low F Immunity. I see you in another video. No, what are you waiting for? Do, do it! it! Make your dreams Don't come true! Dreams Just dreams. do it!